Hi, this is Bob Itino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago, talking equity futures. All three equities really barely noticed the government shutdown, and by that I mean all three equity indices, obviously, barely noticed. They were still focused more on their earnings. The S&P finished higher, that's what I wanna focus on. Dow finished slightly lower. NASDAQ also slightly higher. Again, they verge on flat, although the S&P was close to up a half a percent in toward the end of the day. And the interesting part about it is, Possibly the government shutdown capped gains, but it certainly didn't cause a sell-off like we saw in 2013 when that government shutdown was imminent. And the Dow fell more on pretty weak numbers and uh, a suspension of the share buyback plan from American Express, American Express being a big portion of the Dow. So that really held the Dow down further than its sister indices, the S&P and the NASDAQ. But again, the S&P still in an uptrend, eight of the last nine days, have been higher. We're up three weeks in a row now in the S&P, and eight of the last nine weeks have been higher in the S&P as well. And we're only at the 19th, but so far the gain on the S&P for this month is the largest we saw since October of last year where we had the election. So that's a pretty good month. Year to date now, year to date, the S&P 500 is up just a hair under 5%. So that's pretty strong performance. And again, this was the largest, this is the largest monthly gain so far. We've got another week or so um, for that to happen or for that to reverse. But so far it's the largest monthly gain since the election month, October, where Donald Trump was elected. We also have a very significant new record. Now there's been plenty of new records in the S&P, but the longest the S&P 500 had ever gone in the history of the index without a 5% correction is 394 days. Today makes 395 consecutive days without a 5% correction in the S&P. Extremely significant, especially going into the face of, again, looming government shutdown, which we'll have to look at next week. We're gonna have some pretty significant earnings for a bunch of different sectors, uh, United Technology, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble. We're gonna have some regional banks. We're gonna have Verizon. We're gonna have Starbucks. So there's a wide variety of earnings coming out next week. So there's the potential for some equity market volatility, but right now we continue on the path of the bullish S&P. This is Bob Aichino talking S&P futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.